Okay, so we have three expressions. Only two of them have denominators. And this one's a little different because our denominators really, they're just monomials. They're not like linear factors. So it's very simplistic here. Our LCD is just seven times X. So multiply each of these by seven X. For the numerator, it didn't have a denominator. There's nothing that's going to go away there. So it's just 7x times x minus 7. And the denominator for the first one, the 7 is going to cancel. So we've got x times x. For the second one, the x is going to cancel. So we have 7 times 7, which is 49. Now, this is similar to the first example we did. The top doesn't have... Um, it, it's not adding anything else, so I'm going to leave it in factored form instead of multiplying it out and then potentially having to factor it back out um, in case the denominator simplifies. So the denominator is x squared minus 49. Uh, x squared minus 49, does that, uh, does that factor? Yep, difference perfect squares. And looky there, one of its factors is in the numerator. So this is another example of one of these that does actually simplify after we combine everything. So 7x over x plus 7 is your final answer. Now, these would be a little bit more difficult to check in your calculator. Remember how I showed you you could check your simplifying the other day? You would have to be very, very careful with your parentheses. But let me just show you, for example, uh, let me save it for the next one because we'll need more. Yeah, we'll need more parentheses for the next one. So I'll save it for that one. But I'm going to show you how to check it <clears throat> just to be on the safe side. Okay? But you're going to have to be careful. All right, let's do one more example here. X plus 4 minus 1 over X plus 4 all over X plus 11 plus 48 over X minus 3. So we have two distinct denominators here, x plus 4 and x minus 3. The first two expressions in the numerator and the denominator have a denominator of 1. Okay, so we've got x plus 4 times x minus 3 times each and every one of these. So, obviously, the first one, nothing cancels. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, save myself some writing here, and I am going to multiply. We have a binomial times a binomial times a binomial. Well, I have to pair it up, okay? It doesn't matter what order you do it in, uh, but I'm going to pair these two together, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply them out. X plus 4 times X minus 3. So, X squared plus X minus 12. Don't lose that negative that's right there that I kind of paired with that other thing that's not really paired with that. Okay. Um, minus 1 times, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this one out because that's what I just multiplied out, x squared plus x minus 12. Now, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, it's very, very important. If there's a minus there, you need to put that in parentheses because you're going to have to apply that negative to anything that follows. Okay, uh, in the denominator, the order really doesn't matter. I don't know why. I want to pair the x plus 4 and the x plus 11. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do x squared uh, plus 15x plus 44. Thank you. Yes, that's the whole point. The x plus 4 is cancel, so we just have x minus 3. Thank you. And I'm assuming that's why y'all are raising your hands. Okay. <sighs> it's Friday, guys. Almost the weekend. <clears throat> yes, the x plus 4 is cancel, so we're just left with x minus 3. Okay. Denominator, I'm okay, though, because nothing canceled in that first thing. I didn't multiply that for nothing. Okay. Um, what I was saying was, it doesn't matter which order you pair these up. For whatever reason, I wanted to leave the x minus 3, so I paired the x plus 4 and the x plus 11. You could have left the x plus 4 on the front and paired up the x plus 11 and the x minus 3. Um, either way, you're going to end up with the same answer. Yes? Mm -hmm. And that's part of the reason why I went ahead and multiplied that out, okay? No, you could not cancel this because of this minus right here. And there's going to end up being a plus after this one. So that's another reason why I went ahead and multiplied that one out too. You would not be tempted to cancel it right here. Yes, ma'am. Right. If it is factor times a factor times a factor, that's when you can cancel. But if it's factor plus a factor or factor minus a factor, then you cannot cancel these. Okay? And honestly, that is the most difficult point that I have to get even across with this. Um, and to be honest, some of you will still mess it up at some point in time. But it's okay. Alright. For the second one, the x minus 3 is canceled. So we have plus. 48 times x plus 4. Alright, so because of this minus in the top and because of the plus in the bottom, we're going to have to multiply all this out. Then see if we can factor to see if we can cancel anything else to fully simplify. Okay, so binomial times a trinomial. It's been a little while, right? Distribute that x, so we get x cubed plus x squared minus 12x. Distribute the 4 plus 4x squared plus 4x minus 48. We'll simplify in a minute. Distribute that negative, so it's minus x plus 3. Same thing in the bottom, just different numbers. We've got to distribute the binomial to the trinomial. So x cubed plus 15x squared plus 44x minus 3x squared minus 45x minus 122. Thirty-two. Thank you. And distribute the forty-eight. So plus forty-eight x plus ninety-six plus ninety-six is one ninety-two. Okay. It's about to get a lot smaller. Almost there. Math is all about endurance, right? So, okay. No, no, because of all those pluses and minuses. Nope, you're good. Okay, are we okay? Good. All right. I'm sorry. My brain works really, really fast here. I'm sorry. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's combine like terms. X squared plus 4x squared. So plus 5x squared. Minus 12x plus 4x is minus 
8x plus another negative x, so minus 9x. Yep. And then minus 48 plus 3, minus 45. Denominator. x cubed, 15x squared minus 3x squared is 12x squared, plus 44x minus 45x, that's negative x, plus 48x plus 47x, and negative 132 plus 192 plus all right so the only thing left for us to do is to attempt to factor the top and the bottom what type of factoring would this be grouping marvelous okay uh, the numerator looks great okay uh, we can take out an x squared and that'll give us x plus 5 we can take out a negative 9 and that leaves us with x plus 5 In the denominator, we can take out an x squared, and that leaves us with x plus 12. And, hmm, we can't do 47 plus 60. We cannot factor 47x plus 60. There's nothing, there's nothing that they have in common. Um, we're pretty much stuck. Okay, sometimes that happens. Okay, sometimes part of it will factor, sometimes part of it will not factor. Now, just since we started the factoring, let's finish it off. Okay, the numerator, group your uh, GCFs together, your common term. Um, might as well leave it like that since I started, even though it won't finish. Okay. Uh, and then there's actually one more thing we can do. x squared minus 9 is x plus 3 times x minus 3. So, I know it can be a bit frustrating, but sometimes you get to the end. And even if you can factor, there's nothing in common, so there's no canceling to be done. So you just leave it. Don't try and go backwards or anything like that. Just leave it the way it is. <clears throat> I'm fine with it in factored form or um, I believe on the answer key most of the time they leave it in not factored form. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, but it may be like that. Alright, so let me really quickly show you the checking in the calculator thing. Okay, um, but you got to be super careful with parentheses, okay? So do not rely on this as a foolproof, you know, this is going to for sure tell me whether I'm right or wrong um, because you may make a mistake when you're trying to type this in, okay? So in Y1, you always put the original problem. Well, you've got to put parentheses around the entire numerator, okay? So I'm going to start a set of parentheses, and then I'm going to put parentheses around X plus 4, minus 1 over, i got to put that x plus 4 in parentheses, okay, uh, close the parentheses for that denominator, that's the end of my numerator, so I'm going to close the parentheses there, divided by, i got to put parentheses around the entire denominator, and I need parentheses around x plus 11, close them around x plus 11, plus 48 over parentheses around x minus 3, close them around the x minus 3, close them around the denominator. Okay? <clears throat> now, in this case, my numerators were only uh, modules, the 48 and the 1, but if that were something like x plus 11, just like I put parentheses around the x plus 11 there, I would also need to do it right there. Okay? Um, or it, it will mess up the answer. <clears throat> now, I've got to put my answer uh, now for the well, yeah, let me put the factored one, okay? Again, you got to put parentheses around the entire numerator and then each individual piece that you have parentheses written around, 